Welcome aboard the Blue Pearl. cockpit was one of the great features of this boat. Here we are at the helm, nice big wheel, our BNG Zeus 3. We have our EPIRB right here, emergency beacon. The Naviotics on the iPad. Just found this fancy clamp to uh, clamp on the iPad so that we can have Naviotics as a backup chart plotter, so to speak. No boat would be complete without a hanging uh, hammock style fruit basket. This is our Starlink up here, for lack of a better place to mount it, we just got to zip tight. Lots of storage behind these couch cushions. Here's where we've been. We're storing the fishing poles, and here's our gaff hook, and our boat hook, and our fishing net. It all is semi-convenient right up here. This uh, this can be shut when it gets really windy or blustery, and um, kind of close off the uh, companion way here. Nice big cockpit for entertaining fold down table. Anyway, it's just an awesome cockpit and a big, great space. This is our eight person life raft right here, self-inflating. If we get in trouble, we tie this painter off to the, one of the uh, stanchions, throw it overboard, pull the rope and it self-inflates. Uh, Blue Pearl is a big girl, so 80,000 pounds. Uh, so we got the uh, a little larger fenders. Um, we bought these locally, $200 a piece. So uh, I put UV protectant on there just because I hope they last like forever. <clears throat> so here's our two uh, stand up paddle boards. Uh, again, UV protectant because we don't have a cover. This is a giant hatch, it's gotta be three feet square. Go straight down into the V berth. And so when there's a, a wind and we open up this hatch like this, it just really ventilates the interior. So here's our grass mat. This is where we train the dogs to go pee and most of the time they do. And they go number two here as well. Uh, so pretty much every day we take the grass mat and we throw it overboard. We let it uh, soak in the water for a couple hours, bring it back up and it's good as new. These are our windlass that every time we use it, we have our fingers crossed. <laughs> It's gonna work for us. We have two different chains. This one here is a half inch chain, 200 feet long. Attached to our plow anchor. That's a Delta knockoff actually. This one here is a 85 pound CQR on mostly rope road. There's a little bit of chain here. And then it turns into rope. The rest of it, I think there's 200 feet. I've never had it out. She's a cutter rig, so we have both the Genoa it's like 150%, 120%, something like that. Uh, and the staysail, which is very cool because it has a traveler and it pretty much self tax uh, when we use this. Very, it's the most convenient sail on board. This is a really cool place to hang out when you're sailing, especially when the seas are big. This pulpit rises and falls tens of feet. It's just a really great ride. I could sell tickets to this little spot right here. Pretty cool watching the fish and the dolphins from here too. Moving aft, we have our uh, line supply. These are dock lines, spring lines, tow lines. 
and uh, may look excessive, but I don't think it is. We have a uh, fresh water faucet over here with a hose, and we keep this right here, so in case the dogs miss or we need to uh, hose off the boat, we have fresh water here, always on. It's very convenient. I just read Master and Commander. They talked about the scuttlebutt, which is a place to get fresh water on a ship uh, that's near the main mast. And so I've been calling this my scuttlebutt right here, at the origin of the word scuttlebutt, because nowadays the use of the word is you can go to the water cooler and learn all the scuttlebutt uh, about the office. I see a lot of weird lines here. Jeez, we've had such a bunch of wind. And this is just a temporary little piece of quarter inch dyneema. It keeps the halyard off that main mast from banging against it all night. We've got all kinds of bungee cords and various lines like this to, to, have a, to help ensure a quiet evening uh, when we're at anchor. Safety gear wise, we have a lifeline on both sides of the boat. We have a throwable flotation device. We have a beacon here that we throw overboard. When it's upside down, it'll float like that. It has a uh, flashing SOS beacon. Here's a throwable line right there. Here's our uh, barbecue. Uh, this is a magma. It's their newest product and it works really good. We like it. We do have a plancha that adapts to this thing too. Um, here's our oversized dinghy. It's 14 feet. Now, an oversized motor, 50 horse Yamaha. It uh, is a lot of boat. It planes about 35 miles an hour on a good day. We have the luxury of having a electric winch on both davit arms to bring it up. This one here is really doing the most of the work because of the, the engine itself is 251 pounds. Fish cleaning station. This lazarette houses various items like lawn chairs, power supply, a third CQR anchor. This is our water maker right here, makes about 36 gallons per hour. This is our dive compressor, which we just had completely refurbished and it's ready to go. It's a great thing to have, another luxury item. Here's our dive tanks. We have two dive tanks down here. Uh, this is our hookah system so that I can go over the edge and have a look at the hull or do any sort of repairs or cleaning is necessary. Kind of an ugly storage area right here. We have gasoline for the dinghy. Half, there's a gallon of diesel. These are a couple of fishing poles that we had a long time. We bought these over on the east coast of the United States and we did a bunch of surf uh, bait casting uh, from shore. So they're 11 feet long, way too long for this boat. But we have used them a little bit and caught some fish with them, no doubt about it, uh, just fishing off the boat. So coming into the cockpit, we have this sliding roof that can be shut in inclement weather, but generally it stays open all day long, every day. So come down to the salon and we'll have a look around. Welcome to our salon. When we stepped foot on this boat, there was a few things that were key for us. The large cockpit upstairs, the large salon area and the captain's quarters, which we'll show you in a bit. I love the space. We have huge families and a lot of friends and we love to entertain. So when we were looking for a boat, I knew we wanted space for um, entertaining. And we've had several gatherings here and it just makes my heart so full and happy. My desk where I do all of the YouTube video editing right here in this handy dandy little Amazon find. How perfect is that? And now I'm ready to go to work. And when I'm done, you just put it away. I love it. I love to cook. It's my favorite thing. It's one of my favorite things to cook. Uh, I always use cast iron. My favorite pots and pans, even though they're so heavy and ridiculous to have on a boat, I don't care. I love cast iron. Um, really nice, big space. I was very happy with this galley. The, the sink is insanely large. If you can say this, it's too big. I think it's too big. It's a huge sink and it takes up a third of my kitchen. <laughs> I am very spoiled with my dishwasher. We drove around in an RV for several years and I had to hand wash everything, which I don't mind doing, but this is such a blessing to have because I just get to load it all up into that and start it every morning that the, that the generator is running and clean dishes. I'm also very fortunate to have 
a washer and dryer combo. Love this thing. And I got more storage over here and a freezer here. But the next best thing about this galley is my refrigerators. Yes, they are both refrigerators. Very large, very spacious, and very well stocked. They're so big that I get to have wine down below and beer on cold, and that's wonderful. Uh, and I have a freezer over here, and I have a freezer right here as well, which is great for storing all that fish we keep catching. This is our control panel. It used to have a couple of sliding doors on there, but we get so we get into this so often that I took the doors out <laughs> so that it's all right there in one spot. This is the 110 side. This is the 12 volt side. Uh, inverter, magnum inverter, um, water maker here. This timer here, we actually set every single morning when we start the generator because we can never remember when we how long it's been running. So it's been really helpful to have that little timer going. We have our starboard berth here, sleeps too fairly comfortably, and it has its own bathroom. My picture board. I love my pictures. They mean the world to me. This has come in really handy with uh, my, the magnets we've collected on our road trip when we had our RV. And then to be able to have all of my family on the board to look at whenever I miss them, which is an awful lot. Captain's quarters. I love my little vanity that I have here. And of course, the bathroom. Yes, the dogs sleep with us every night. I think it's their bed. Moving forward, we have a well-stocked bar. And yes, we use glass. We don't drink anything out of plastic or paper here. <laughs> this is, uh, we call it the library. It has just a single bunk here. Uh, it's our uh, very ugly charging station. We have to get everything charged every day. This is the man cave, uh, otherwise known as the bee birth. Basically, this is my workshop, this is my workbench. These are all my tools. And uh, I spent a lot of time in here. There is a door here that leads to uh, Jack and Jill shower. And I'll show you the other side of that. This cabinet here this is where we keep all of our families in the event we need them. We never need them, and I can't imagine getting them. But that's where they are in case we need them. Over to the starboard side, we have another double berth. Head. Another coral toilet. This is not pink. <laughs> it's a coral toilet. With a bathtub. Here you can actually relax in your own private tub. And there's a door behind that curtain that goes to the V-berth. And I'm back in the V-berth. There's a 65 foot boat, so there's a long ways to the other end. I'll just do one little walkthrough right here. 